Hey guys, welcome back to Kerzun. So far, we have been talking about early disease detection and we focused on three common killer diseases in Nigeria diabetes, hypertension, and cancer. So, today we are wrapping up this discussion and bringing it to a close by doing a recap of what we have learned so far. So what have we learned from this series of videos that we have been watching for the past few weeks? Here are some highlights for you to take to heart. One, early disease detection is very important for both infectious and non-infectious diseases. In the case of infectious diseases, it is possible to manage the disease and possibly cure it and avoid the spread to other persons. And for non-infectious diseases, early detection can help prevent complications, end organ damage, and even death. The survival rates are increased when a disease is detected early. What else have we learned in this series? Early detection can help in management of disease conditions without significantly affecting the quality of life of the patient. And also, if a disease is detected early, it can spare us the financial burden from medical interventions that are more complex like life support, dialysis, organ transplants, and lots more. And when a disease is detected early, it is easier to manage or possibly even cure it. And the disease will be more responsive to treatment options chosen for its management. So today I am encouraging you to take proactive measures that will help you to stay alive and healthy. So what are the things we need to do? What are those practical steps we need to take? Do not neglect your health by saying it is not my portion. Take care of your health. Treat it as a very precious gift that must be cherished. Do not ignore unusual signs or feelings or symptoms that you may be experiencing. And do not mistake them for something else. Rather, take extra step to check them and rule out any possible risks or dangers. We want to avoid self-medicating for prolonged period on over-the-counter medicines like paracetamol and the likes. If symptoms persist for more than two days, it is best to consult your doctor. Don't be like the person who was taking paracetamol for chest pain over a long period of time or for headache, only to find out that the person was rushed to the hospital for a heart attack another thing we need to do is know your family history and your risk factors knowledge of these things will help you to understand what predisposing factors you have and if they are within your control you will begin to take actions to control them factors like your occupation your age your weight your family history you, you need to know your family's medical history. If there are persons who have had certain diseases in the family, it does not necessarily mean that you would come down with it, but you are likely or may be at risk for coming down with those diseases. And there are certain things that you can do to actually prevent this disease from coming to you. So things you can control like adopting a healthy lifestyle and cutting down on unhealthy foods, avoiding over drinking and smoking, and getting enough rest and good exercise routine. All of these can help prevent those diseases from actually occurring. So it is possible, if you know your risk factors, to work and prevent them from actually bringing you down to those disease conditions and like we have been saying all the while in this video series it is important for you to go for regular checkups make it a routine to visit the hospital discuss with your doctor 
he will make evaluations and recommendations as to which screening tests you would need. These will help to detect any diseases or any health conditions early and begin management very early. And that will prevent complications and unnecessary financial burden or even death. So here is wishing you the best quality of life and good health. I remain Grace, your Care Zone Pharmacist. See you in my next video. Bye.